get to the 10. The explosion and a great job by Paul Davis to seal inside, try to get position. Hager has six. Michigan State called for a foul that Tom Izzo didn't like. And it's the third on Maurice Hager. And to guard Morrison looked like they called a little hold on him as Morrison was trying to come off a screen. And that's the that's how valuable Morrison is with that change of pace that he uses. Got a guard him. Three rattled out. Shannon Brown the pull up. That's for two. He has really worked on that shot. He's become a really good shooter from the perimeter. Can pull up and pull the trigger from three. Well, that's what I think makes them tough. The wing guys can shoot it, then they can explode to the rim. Brown, after having those debilitating cramps in Honolulu against Hawaii Saturday that forced him to be taken off the court on a stretcher after a lengthy delay, hasn't shown any after effects here in Maui, 18 against Chaminade, and nine already against Gonzaga. Here come the Zags again, led by Radio. Spartan fans wanted to follow the other end. Mallon to Morrison with Batista and Pargo. The nice. five some on the court for the Zags. Good defense by Davis. Brown couldn't handle it. Sutan got it back. It's sloppy. That looked like a travel. Sutan. Rebound Walton, and he's fouled by Mallon. A great hustle by Michigan State. It might not have looked pretty, but Goran Sutan did a great job of not giving up on that play. Because he ran, he was able to corral that ball after Brown saved it. And Brown with a great effort as well in that particular play. Both teams like to get up and down. I think it's judgment at the end of breaks when the numbers are even. Two fouls on Mallon. He's gone to the Gonzaga bench. Seven team fouls, so the Zags are over the limit. There's Travis Walton, freshman from Lima, Ohio. Lima Senior High School, he averaged 20 points per game, but he's better known early in his collegiate career for his defense. Tom Izzo says he's the most tenacious defender they've ever had, and they've had some guys who'd like to guard. Well, he doesn't give any ground, and that's what great defenders do. He gets up into your face, and he will not give an inch. And he plays with a lot of passion. A lot of guys say they play with emotion. I don't think emotion can be sustained, but passion can, and Walton plays with it. Back to a one-point game, eight minutes to go, first half. Sean McDonough with Bill Raftery and Jay Billis at the EA Sports Maui Invitational. A running floater by Adam Morrison. He has 15 in the first 12 minutes plus. Big guy's got to step up, don't they, Bill, and well, take that curl away. He's so tough that when you do come up, he had options there, too, defensively on the offensive end. Davis struggled with the pass, never did have it in his grasp, and Batista knocked it away to rival. Fourth turnover for Michigan State. Nathan Dowdney, a transfer from Texas Tech. He's had knee problems. You can see the brace on his left leg. And a long jumper by Josh Heitfeld, the 6'11 freshman with his first bucket. And so he can rebound, too. He's going to be a nice-looking player. Highly recruited player. Sutan missed. Here come the Zags quickly again. Heitfeld traveled. Eight turnovers for Gonzaga, but Morrison has been brilliant, pacing the Zags to a five-point lead. And I felt good defense to knock it out. And Iowa's got a really good team because they've got older players, having guys like Greg Bruner and Jeff Horner. How about Hanson, too? He's got, if he stays in the game, I mean, they may have a whole lot of size, but... He's They're a big really time shot job. blocker. Uh, Haluska, another guy. Adam Haluska, really, that's right. Can really knock some shots down. Heitzel off for Davis down the lane to dunk it over Heitfeld. Nice timing on that play, though. Heitzel being creative and a good dive to the tin, but a big guy. Well, he really goes so much stronger to the basket than he used to. He's matured into a great college basketball player. All the way from the ball on Warren Sutton of Michigan State, his first. 
six team foul, so not yet the limit. Davis out top, you can see nice shot fake and dribble by hard to the pin. He became the third leading rebounder in the Big Ten last year, and that was a big jump for him. Really became a dominant big guy. Brown in transition. Suits on the rebound, then lost it out of bounds. Uh, Gonzaga's done a nice job getting back and playing the wing people. Uh, but most importantly, I think Davis, which is overlooked here, he's been bouncing Baptista away from the box, which he dominated last year. He can't get touches, not able to dominate. Let's see if they go back to Batista and challenge Davis. Oh, Cargo got to the rim, a little 360 spin, and Malayan. How about that for be creative? to shoot for the Spartans and Walton will settle. He's out there with Neitzel Brown, Sutton and Davis for Michigan State. Uh, nice recovery that trip on a rotation. They trapped the box and got back in space. Six to shoot. Neitzel. Nicely done. He only averaged three and a half shot attempts per game last year and he's been a more frequent shooter in the early season so far this year. Well, he's done a nice job with his shot fakes. Rivio has over pursued on his closeouts and Neitzel's taken advantage of it. Neitzel has four points, averaged three and a half points per game last year. Oh, yeah, come. Make yourself available. Heitfeld knows how to play, Jay. He has four for the level of play in all the games we've seen so far today several notches up from yesterday. It seemed like the teams yesterday a little bit anxious. So much hype about this tournament, the quality of the field and the opponents. And they're all settling in, it appears, today. Morrison a rebound in traffic. First couple of games were tough, though, Sean, on kids. You know, just coming out of five and a half, six weeks of practice. A talented field. So eager to get started with the season. So much anticipation for the start of the year for all these teams. Batista and Suton are getting in a little brawl down there. I tell you, I love the interior defense. They got a three-second violation on Baptista because of that. Great leg work, position, and strength. Gonzaga has turned it over nine times. They are fun to watch with a wide open style and some flair. They lead by six. The teams that today are living up to the preseason expectations and the rankings. They are good looking teams that are clearly very well coached. You know your point of teams getting better here is very true I and mean, they're getting their legs underneath them. They're solid. They've got all answers. I think the one area for Tom just being solid low post action reversing the basketball. They haven't been able to get their fast breaks but they've run their half court stuff beautifully. They have run their offense very well. They've got to get some production out of the four spot. Marquise Gray is showing some signs of being a really good player for them. He's so active and bouncy. Keeps the double. Let's see if quickly they can reverse it. They did but Gonzaga did a nice job responding quickly. Davis. Line drive jumper wouldn't go, and the rebound down to Sean Mallon, his fourth. He's averaging six points and six rebounds a game in their first two this season. That's an awfully difficult shot for Paul Davis. That turnaround jumper over that left shoulder, that's difficult. A nice play now. Get, taking advantage of size here. Morrison shot over the shorter Brown, was long with it, and then Brown in oh. transition. Wow. How quick. With some strength, send it in. Ooh. 13 for Shannon Brown. Five of nine shooting. And an offensive foul called against Gonzaga. You think this is some incentive to get back in transition? Oh. Shannon Brown. Is that soaring with the best of them? What a throwdown. Oh. You got to get back and make them fan out. That's one of the things that Mark Few was concerned about. Last foul is on Mamory Diallo, who just came in for Gonzaga, his first. Davis was surrounded. Again, they reverse it. And Shannon Brown is now leading all scores for all the attention on Morrison. 
suddenly it's Brown with a game high 16 points. That was a nice adjustment by Tom Izzo to put Brown opposite of Paul Davis. So when the ball is reversed out of the double team, he's got a shooter over there. And Diallo shows a air ball after picking up the foul a moment ago. He's had a tough stint since entering the game. They do a nice job, too, of overloading. Uh, making sure on the ball reversal they get a short corner makes one guy guard two But these two wing guys are as good as you could get uh, When you see Ager and Brown at their best ooh, Are they? Incredibly quick and tough now The pin downs. Oh nice read by Knights And also from the top no 